Hello, so I am now doing my Lord uh, deck profile. This is a Shadow Paladin, as you can tell. I'm actually um, really nervous because this is my um, first video, so I'm actually really nervous. Or well, second video, so I'm actually really nervous. But anyway, I ran Root as my starter because Root is really good. And Lord, when he's retired or killed off or whatever, you can retire him, but sorry, comes one from the soul and give something plus five. I'm sorry, by the way, I'm sorry if it sounds like I am whispering because I have got a really sore throat at the moment, so. And the strides, this is a really budget for the strides. I'm running for Carnival Dragon. Carnival Dragon is the child that stride. So what it is, is you retire one, then your opponent has to retire two. If not, then they then choose up the three units in front row and it gains 4k. So it's not bad, actually. And then for G guards, I run one. Um, plot Maker Dragon. Plot Maker Dragon is the new one. Ritual, Ritual 3 gains 10k shield, so just good heavy defense. Then 3. Ludvik. Ludvik is really good, just the generic G guard. Like a shield, that's good for getting great ones that drops in for ritual. Then this is where I set his budget for the stress dragon. I only want to run one, but I'm only running them until I get better two units. One, Evnition. Evnition's okay actually. Evnition's skill is you retire one, it gains 7k, and when it hits, you retire something. So it's not bad. Then one to breeze, one at us, and one blizzard. Like I said, just until I can get more G units. I want to be in the description for my J Byte video, so then I'm for grade three, so I can just quickly sort it out. Like I said, I'm not prepared for this at all guys, I'm sorry. But I run for Luard, obviously. Luard is the main grade three of the deck, obviously one is um hot stumped. Sorry sorry, like I said I'm really nervous, so for Luard it's the ritual. Um, card. It's it's ritual. It's ritual three. You put two cards from the drop zone on the bottom of your deck. Then you can spear your stride. And then his other skill is you come as one and retire one of your regards. He says you never two great ones and call them. So two great one or less. So it's good for retiring one learner. I've ordered a few more of these. It's quite good actually. Here's the new ritual. It's the Tire 2, when attacks, draw 2, gains 3k, and he comes from top 1, top 5, out of ritual. I'm trying to get more of them, like I said, this, that's why I said it's budget. And then 3, Crest of Ashes Dragon, just to get more. Now for grade 2s, I run 1, Morphessa, like I said, I'm trying to get more Morphessas. But Morphessa's quite good, actually. She's the ritual, 3, she gets um, plus 5 when it attacks, and when it hits, she comes from 1, call the grade 1. So, not bad. Then, four. Um, Drag Wizard, Life Hail. Life Hail is the 11k ritual attacker. And you source one and retire something in the same column as him. And you draw a card. So if you call a grade one behind him, then you retire the grade one, which is good for ritual skills as well. Like other ritual skills. And one of this, okay, this is just budget, so I'm just running one of like anything. One of this, this is the 10k ritual attacker, and the 10k interceptor, so it can be good, all my triggers, I've actually tested it, what I can get onto the field, it's quite good. Then four, of, this isn't a ritual, this is just four of an okay grade two. Um, when, when it's put some guard, if you have more than or equal to the same number of guards, you draw one. So it's good for ritual, you know, drop a grade one, you can do ritual. Now, but like I said, budget again, two of this thing, this is just the interceptor. Now for grey ones, um, four perfect guards, just the standard perfect guards. One abyssal hole, except like, this guy is worth a lot of money in the UK, so I'm trying to get um, something. I'm trying to get more of them. Then four drag wizard news. Yes. This is the new grey one for ritual. 
So, 9k reach one attacker, and you come as one after it boosted, come as one retire something insane column, and you draw a card. So, same situation here, if you had a grey one in front, and it's good, then. Um, one arrow in the road. I run this because it's it's quite good. So, if I ride this on my first road, then I can rest it and drop grade one, which is good for ritual. Then, one of this, this is just, it's not where, again, it's quite good. So, just for a grade zero, like how long, you know, I can just call it and retire with Carnival Dragon or something. So, it doesn't waste that many regards and it gets killed off. And then, two of this, this is Cloth Through. Cluster is my best on Regard, gives only plus three. Now for triggers, I run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight crits. Eight crits because I've tested them out and they're really good, actually. So, eight crits. Four draws. And this whole plus three standard. And obviously four heals. So that is my um Luard uh deck profile. If you guys enjoyed it, please sure to comment, rate and subscribe. Um if you guys could check out my trade weather video that would be really appreciative. Like I said, if you guys could you know comment on my videos you know, subscribe, like, that would really help me out a lot, because like I said, I'm really nervous. I only just start, I'm autistic and everything, so, and I only just started this morning, so. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.